pool. Okay, well, from lucky turkeys to this gorgeous great horned owl whose name is Chestnut, and this beautiful red-tailed hawk named Autumn, celebrating our Thanksgiving very special, special pet talk with these fabulous creatures. Joining us also from a place called Hope, a raptor rehabilitation and education center located in Killingsworth, Connecticut. Here are their humans, Christine Cummings and Todd Secchi. So we welcome you both back to the show. And Thank wow, you very much. are these guys absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm going to start with you, Christine. Okay, uh, it's because wonderful I, to be back. Well, we're Thanks so happy to have us. you. We had great response when you were here last, which was Good. quite a couple of months ago, but uh, we welcome you back. Good. And I want to refresh everybody's memory about okay. A Place Called Hope. A Place Called Hope is a raptor rehabilitation and education center. We're located in Killingworth, Connecticut, which is about an hour from here, but we specialize in rescuing um, sick, orphaned, or um, injured birds of prey. So basically when somebody calls with a, a wildlife emergency, we go out or we send out one of our volunteers to try to rescue the, the bird in, in the crisis and try to fix the problem. Basically our, our goal is to preserve them for the future and to get them back out into the wild whenever possible. And I know we have some beautiful footage of an owl release. Yes, and that was just last week I believe. That owl just released last week. It was a wonderful moment and it happens quick as you see in the video clip. And, I, and so really your wish is that you can rehabilitate them and set them free but we'd love to that doesn't back always happen. Belong. Exactly. And so the ones that can't make it home to freedom those are the ones that there are a few that we choose that will work well with us. We, we've determined that based on their temperament because not all the birds want to be this close to a human being. This is a lot to expect and a lot to ask of each um, wild animal um, in this position to be this close and to be in such an unnatural environment for Absolutely. themselves. Absolutely. I mean, we forget because when I sit here, I just want to reach out and pet them, Absolutely. but then I realize, no, these, these are not pets. It's very hard um, not to pet absolutely them. Absolutely not. Uh, these are, you know, uh, wild I, animals. Uh, wild Despite animals. Despite them being in captivity and living the way that they live now in, in aviaries and, and housed with um, other birds of prey of their own species, it's still not natural. The natural world is the ideal place for them. For them so we give them the best that we can offer them and the ones that do get to stand on the glove and come out to meet the pub public are the special ones that are really the strong survivors. Talk about this. Chestnut gorgeous chestnut owl. Chestnut is actually a very small example of a male great horned owl. Uh, most male great horned owls are going to stand probably a whole head taller than him. In the world of birds of prey, the females are a third larger than the males, so it's always interesting. We can usually tell, determine their sex by what size they are. In his case, he happens to be just a really small guy. He's, he's so short. cute. Well, I love the fact that even on his talons, he's got feathers. Feathers I always all see the that. way down to those big, taloned, beautiful feet. Now, these are some serious feet. Despite him being short, he's still got very powerful, taloned feet. Um, he unfortunately decided to eat roadkill because they do sometimes take advantage of roadkill in the road. It's like fast food for people. Mm -hmm. So he was in the roadway eating roadkill. Mm -hmm. And the story I'm hearing a lot lately are a lot of people will drive along and they'll see a large bird eating roadkill and they assume the bird will fly off when they get close to it with their vehicle. Absolutely. Often they don't have enough time to do that. And if it's a large bird, it takes them a little bit more effort to get out of the way. So sometimes people are unintentionally hitting them. Yes. So right. in his case, Case, he was hit by a car while he ate roadkill and he ended up with a head trauma injury and he's actually missing the tip of his right wing. Wow. Most of, probably about 85% of the birds that we pick up have been hit by cars. Wow. That is the number one injury we actually deal with. Um, a lot of, a lot of car strikes, uh, unfortunately. Why? why? Uh, well, a few different reasons. Mainly it's um, hunting. The highway is a nice wide open space for them to hunt. Um, when you're driving down the highway and you see the hawk sitting up on the lamp post, most of the time it's the red tails, like right. Autumn here. And what they're doing is they're perching and they're looking in an open area waiting for their food to come out. Yeah. Uh, a mouse or a rat or a small mammal or a rodent to come out into the highway and then they dive after it. And of course they don't know that it's a highway there. Exactly. Yeah. When they see prey, they lock onto it visually. Yeah. So when they dive, they don't release that visual lock unless they grab the, until they grab the prey or miss it. So they're really not aware of what's going on around them at that point. And um, in a dive, a lot of these birds can reach speeds of well over 100 miles an hour. It's amazing. Absolutely very amazing. Fast, oh, they're so beautiful. Now, uh, I don't know, it's a little hard to see, but she has just one eye. Yes. So that, that's her injury, I assume. Uh, what happened? Yes, she was hit by a car. 
hit by a car. Yeah. And uh, w what's interesting, we were talking about this a little bit earlier uh, before we went on, but I hope you will mention it. Uh, the force uh, in their talons, I mean, I can see right now with yeah, that they big glove, but they have a love, tremendous amount of power in their feet. Um, Red tail hawk, they say, has about 300 pounds per square inch of crushing power wow. in one foot. And they say the average human male can exert about 70 or 80 pounds. Unbelievable. So we don't, usually don't recommend trying to pick them up if you see an injured one because um, that's what they use for defense. It's wow. the talons and the feet that they actually go after you with rather than the beak. Oh, wow, so beautiful. Now, I know uh, that you guys do a lot of educational programs, uh, which is so important. Um, and why you are here as well. Um, and I know that you're also trying to expand your facility, so let's yes. talk a little bit about that. We are actually in the process of expanding. Um, we've literally run out of physical room for the birds at where we are now. Uh, we have a two acre parcel and we're expanding um, quite a bit every year and um, just ran out of room. So we ended up purchasing a nine and a half acre lot um, and rebuilding the and relocating the entire facility, wow. which is a huge project that's over 6,000 square feet wow. of aviary space for the birds. <laughs> which will be something to go Three see, times. but I Absolutely. know it's expensive, so you're having a fundraiser coming up, Christine? We are. On December 8th, it's a Saturday evening from 6 to 9 at the Chester Meeting House, and that's 4 Liberty Street in Chester. Okay. It is a wonderful uh, place for any kind of fundraising event, and we'll have live birds of prey with us. Fantastic. We'll have a Santa owl. Oh. Because <laughs> it's going to be close to the holidays. Great. We'll have a silent auction, light refreshments, music musical guests. It's going to be open to the public. It's all ages. It's free. So we want people to come and enjoy our birds and get to know us and what we're doing and the scope of our mission. And any donations are greatly accepted. And of course and it all goes back to help you guys Absolutely. out in your quest. Uh, a place called Hope. Uh, and how can folks follow you? I know you're on Facebook. We are on okay. Facebook now. We're finding that it's much easier to keep up with the Facebook page than the website. Of course we also have a website. It's www.aplacecalledhoperaptors.com. Great. So another way to reach us. Terrific. So I hope everybody will reach out and you will do educational programs and come to schools and Absolutely. events. Absolutely. And uh, you'd love to see these birds in person. They're just terrific. Thank you so much for Thank being here. Thank you so much Thank for you. having happy us. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. And uh, we also want to tell everybody on Saturday, December 1st,